it's tough. Well, he has a son, so so when wow. it's um, when it's so he never saw his son. So when, mm. he, when he got killed, she was uh, pregnant. She was pregnant. Yeah. You never seen your child, but he here to remind us. So his wow. son, son dead on him. Looked just like him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And, and he got the same traits. Like my my brother had this trait about him. Like um, he was like neat. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Definitely. Uh, I, from an early age, just always loved you guys' uh, movement. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin Miller. Mm -hmm. I asked, uh, I've asked Bob about him. I mm -hmm. asked, you know, I asked a lot of people that I interviewed mm -hmm. about him. And it, being your brother, I got to ask you about, like, early on losing your brother like that. You know, what was, how was it, how old were you when he passed away? I was young. I was probably, like, um, maybe 16, 17. 16, 16 17. About 16, yeah. And, and so, how did that affect the movement? Was the music a thing at that point? Um, it was a it was a it was, but we just started out, and then I think we was doing some good stuff, and then I think when that happened, um, to be crazy, it was that was the turning point of our career. Because remember, we did um, I miss my homie. Yeah, yeah. And that ended up being one of our biggest songs ever. Close my eyes, visualize me together, and I wanna smile, see you lay down when it's your time. So that was kind of like a a kind of inspiration for us to just take it to the next level, you know. Never could believe that that was true. You was with me forever. You can check my rest in peace tattoos. But I do believe in struggle. I believe that God put us through small stuff, or sometimes big stuff, mm -hmm. not for us, mm -hmm. for the person that you need to help. Because just mm -hmm. like if you were an alcoholic, yep. and I've never drank alcohol in my mm -hmm. life, I can't come to you and try to give you advice or mm -hmm. try to help you get mm -hmm. out of it. God had to put me through mm -hmm. Being an alcoholic, knowing that I'm going, he gonna put me on this path to come across Absolutely. your path. You yeah. see what I mean? To yeah. hear my story, Absolutely. and because my story is gonna touch you, we can help. I can help you get out of your. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I always tell people all the time. I said, don't be ashamed of anything you went through. You mm -hmm. want to speak it into the atmosphere because you want to help somebody. Sometimes you might not even have met that person. You could mm -hmm. be talking to me, and mm -hmm. the person behind you who's listening to you is mm -hmm. going through something that. You see what I mean? Nailed it. No, that's yeah. real, man. Especially like I said, nailed it. We're, we're example, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like like everything we do, our children watch us. We like a God to our children. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of us as parents, you know, mm -hmm. so we definitely, even when they get older, you know, we definitely got to be in a, pl in a place where we can resonate well with the people mm -hmm. around us, man, and, and guide people out with the light that mm -hmm. we shine with. So, yeah, no, y'all doing great. I mean, the thing about it is just giving everybody hope. I think the, a lot of kids don't have it. They just, mm -hmm. you know, and it's tough to tell them that you're going to be okay. When your stomach is growling, it's hard to say you're going to eat some food tomorrow. Right. Like when you hurting, it's hard to say you're going to be all right. But when you, you're in that pain, you just want to, you know, deal with it. So, But when tough. you love, though, when you mm -hmm. love, because when God gave us this gift and mm -hmm. you love and you don't want to see, mm -hmm. you want to see everybody do good. Absolutely. But when you talk to some of these people, and I've seen it, I've done it, and mm -hmm. they look at you like you're just an OG. You don't know what. If you don't have the... You, like you can't tell them anything mm -hmm, and that's mm -hmm. the part that pisses me off is like yeah. you want to help these people mm -hmm. and you tell them but my revelation with that is speak it and leave mm -hmm. it alone they're going to remember it when mm -hmm. God permits mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. as much as they might not listen right now mm -hmm. they'll listen down the line they're going to remember what you said mm -hmm. it's better you say something to them rather than be mm -hmm. like some of these people who are like oh they're never going to change mm -hmm. D don't waste your breath mm -hmm. don't be one of those people gotcha. okay you know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. got to say it and leave it alone. They're not going to do it right then and there. Mm -hmm. But they're going to remember what you said. Don't mm -hmm. give up on nobody. Mm -hmm. Do you? I'm going to go back in a little bit. Do you remember when, when Pete decided he was going to come to California? And what were you doing? You still was in New Orleans? Uh, no, I was there the whole time, actually. So you went with him? Yeah. So when time. he left, you left? I left, yeah. Because that was a gray area for me. You hear him tell the story. Or you hear people, they talk about it. He left and uh, he had some money that his grandparent mm -hmm. gave him. Mm -hmm. And it's like he was just out here paving the way. But you saying he had a plan, and when y'all left, y'all left together. Yep. Wow. It was How a joint decision between you and him. We had no choice, though, honestly. It was just like this, this, the city where we was from, it just was, um, was long overdue. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got to get out. Or you, you don't get out, you're going to be a victim. A victim. But why California? Because we saw the palm trees and was like, oh, California's going to be beautiful. <laughs> and then we, went to Richmond, then we went to Richmond, it was like, oh, snap. It's worse than the Calio, you know what I'm saying? But we thought, like, you know, you see it, the Ferraris tree. and Ferraris. Mm -hmm. Beaches. That wasn't it. <laughs> how, how long was it after Kevin had passed that y'all left? Mm -hmm. Left before he, before he left. We left before he passed away. Y'all left before he passed away. Yep. 
I didn't even know that. When mm-hmm. I got the call, I mean, because Cap was come out too. Okay. So when I got the call, I was I was going to Richmond High. So so Richmond High, you know, just um, the movie that's um, Coach Carter. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was my that was my coach for real. Really? Yeah. That's, that's actually the team I was on, which he fabricated a little is bit. He but strict, it's okay. Is he strict and hard like he how was, to make? But but he was funny though, more like he was strict. But if you ever knew him, he he had this light voice, and he'd be like. I shot get up. You'd be like, it's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny little story, but but he's a, he was a cool dude. He was um he was good, but it wasn't quite like that. His story was written pretty good, mm-hmm. but uh, he was tough. But I laughed at him a lot. But he was he would get me in trouble a lot. But it it was he was a cool dude. It was funny though too. How? But but I want to go back to Kevin because I, I, like I said, for some reason I was interested because with y'all earlier music that was the whole that was the whole thing just keeping his name alive. Mm-hmm. Um, when you got the call, because I thought you was down there, I'm telling you, and I thought y'all left because I just, I just, I just we was going back and forth, back so, and forth. Y'all, yeah. how long had y'all been out here when that happened? That point, I don't know. I can't. You tell don't that. even know. Nah, yeah. But I know he hit me like a ton of bricks, though. I was like, sheesh. Yeah, yeah. Being your brother, definitely. Yeah. He was younger than you, or older. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was younger than me. No, you know, you know Kev. Kev was young. Kev was older than me. He was, he was right, old. right behind Pete. He was right under Pete. So you, you, he was the middle one. Mm, now we had four. We had um. Four of us boys and one girl. I didn't even know that. And, you know, like I said, I just know Kevin it because y'all put him in the music. Yeah, y'all, yeah. y'all made that happen with me because yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody that come on on my my podcast, mm-hmm. I always ask about Kevin because that was the that was the campaign. You know what I mean to keep his name alive. So, do you feel like he'd be proud of where you guys are at now? Yeah, yeah, that was our motivation, man. For a while, it was like um, Kev was a real good, solid dude too, man. Like as a as a big brother. What nothing he wouldn't do. Um, he'll try to his best to. If I say, oh, I need this jacket. He'll go get it. Mm-hmm. He'll hustle to get it. Whatever. Yeah, he's, he was solid. So he, when he lost him, it was it was tough for all of us for sure. Wow. Do it, you ever get over it? Nope. That's one thing I always want because I hear people talk about it, mm-hmm. a loss of a loved one and stuff like that. And so many people are losing loved ones on a daily basis, and people say they never get over it. But you learn to move on though. Mm, it's tough. Well, he has a son, so so when wow. it's um. When it's so he never saw his son. So when, mm. he, when he got killed, she was um, pregnant. She was pregnant. Yeah. He never seen your child, but he here to remind us. So his wow. son, son dead on him. Looked just like him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. And, and he got the same traits. Like my my brother had this trait about him. Like um, he was like neat. Yeah. So yeah. He was like quarters got to be here. Niggas got to be here. Down OCD, you yeah. all. <laughs> and um, his his son got the same thing. So it's funny. Yeah. Did That's it affect cool. his son a lot growing up without his dad? I'm sure it did, but, yeah. but, he, but he's tough though. But I'm sure, it, I'm sure it's something. We talked about it before. So That's what I was wondering if he you was ever like, talked uh, to. Him. Yeah, he just wanted to know what his dad was like, so I was right. telling him like that. Stories was, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.